Have you ever pondered the paradox of pride? How can something so seemingly empowering also be our downfall? Pride, a complex emotion, can both buoy us and sink us. It's a double-edged sword. On one edge, it's the backbone of self-esteem, the fuel for confidence. It's the inner voice that whispers, you're capable, you're worthy, you've got this. But turn the sword around, and there's a darker edge. Pride, when untamed, can morph into an insidious force, a destructive energy that blinds us to our own faults and builds a fortress of arrogance around us. It's a mask, a facade that we wear, often unknowingly, which hinders our growth, our relationships, and our understanding of ourselves. The paradox of pride lies in its dual nature, in its capacity to uplift us and yet pull us down. The line between healthy self-esteem and destructive pride is often blurred. But where does one end and the other begin? To navigate the labyrinth of pride, we must first learn to identify it. But how do we spot pride, especially when it's hiding in our own hearts? Pride, like a chameleon, can shift and adapt, making it difficult to pinpoint. Yet there are telltale signs that can help us identify it. One of these signs is an inflated sense of self-importance, a belief that we are somehow superior to others. Think about that friend who always seems to have the best stories, the best ideas, the best everything. They're the protagonist in their own epic and everyone else is simply playing a supporting role. Another sign of excessive pride is a lack of empathy. This manifests as an inability or unwillingness to understand and share the feelings of others. Imagine a colleague who dismisses others' struggles, attributing them to laziness or incompetence, without considering the circumstances they might be going through. This lack of empathy is a red flag for pride. A third sign is a reluctance to accept criticism. This is not about rejecting unfounded or harsh criticism, but about dismissing constructive feedback that could help us grow. Consider a team leader who brushes off suggestions for improvement, seeing them as attacks rather than opportunities for growth. This inability to accept criticism is a clear indication of pride. Let's not forget the real-life examples that we encounter every day. The co-worker who never admits a mistake, the friend who always needs to be right, the family member who constantly craves validation. These are all manifestations of pride. But identifying pride in others is often easier than spotting it in ourselves. It's like trying to see your own face without a mirror. That's why self-awareness is crucial. It's about taking a step back and examining our actions and attitudes objectively. Recognizing pride in oneself is the first step towards addressing it. It's like finding the entrance to a labyrinth. The path ahead may be complex and winding, but we cannot begin to navigate it until we've located the starting point. Remember the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Now that we've identified pride, we must understand why it's harmful. Why is something that feels so good, so bad for us? Let's dive into the murky waters of this paradox. Picture this, you're at the top of your game, basking in the glow of success. It feels great, right? And why shouldn't it? You've worked hard, and now you're reaping the rewards. But here's where the danger lies. It's all too easy to slip from healthy self-esteem into the realm of overbearing pride. Pride, when it becomes too dominant, can have a devastating effect on relationships. It can make us dismissive of others' opinions, blind us to our own faults, and create a barrier between us and the people we care about. Take the case of a successful entrepreneur who becomes so wrapped up in their own accomplishments that they start belittling their team's contributions. The result? A demoralized workforce, strained relationships, and ultimately, a decline in productivity. But the damage doesn't stop there. Pride can also be a roadblock to personal growth. It can make us complacent, satisfied with our current state and resistant to change. We start to believe that we're already the best version of ourselves and so we stop striving for improvement. Consider a talented musician who stops practicing because they believe they're already at their peak. Over time, their skills stagnate and they miss out on opportunities to grow and evolve. And let's not forget the impact on mental health. Pride can lead to an inflated sense of self-worth, distorting our perception of reality. This can result in a harsh crash when reality inevitably sets in leading to feelings of disillusionment and depression. For instance, a best-selling author who believes they can do no wrong may experience a severe blow to their mental health when their next book fails to meet expectations. Pride can isolate us, stunt our growth, and even lead to our downfall. But fear not, for every problem has a solution. The key is to recognize, manage, and ultimately overcome pride, and we'll explore how to do just that in the next scenes. Knowing the pitfalls of pride, how do we avoid falling into its trap? That's the question we're addressing in this segment. It's one thing to understand the dangers of pride, 
it's another to actively sidestep them. Here, we'll talk about practical strategies to help circumvent the snare of excessive pride. Let's start with the first strategy, practicing humility. Humility is the antidote to pride. It's all about recognizing our limitations and accepting that we don't have all the answers. It's about understanding that we're part of a larger whole and that our accomplishments, as grand as they may seem, are not just the result of our efforts but also the contributions of others and the circumstances that have shaped us. Humility isn't about downplaying our achievements, it's about acknowledging the role of others and the larger forces at play. Next, we have embracing criticism. This can be a tough one. No one likes to hear what they're doing wrong, but criticism, whether it's constructive or not, gives us a different perspective, a chance to learn and grow. Pride can make us defensive, causing us to reject criticism outright. Embracing criticism means setting aside our pride to see if there's a kernel of truth in what others are saying. It's about using that feedback as a tool for self-improvement, not as a weapon to beat ourselves up with. Lastly, let's talk about developing empathy. Pride can make us self-centered, blind to the experiences and perspectives of others. Empathy, on the other hand, broadens our understanding of the world around us. It allows us to step into someone else's shoes, to feel their joys and their pains. Empathy humanizes us, reminding us that we're all interconnected and that our actions have ripple effects. Avoiding the trap of pride requires conscious effort and practice, but the journey is well worth it. Remember, it's not about eliminating pride completely. Pride in moderation can be a powerful motivator. It's about avoiding the excess, the kind of pride that puts us on a pedestal and isolates us from others. And that's a journey worth embarking on. What if we've already fallen into the trap of pride? How do we climb out of the pit and reclaim our lives? Let's start with a comforting truth. It's never too late to change. Overcoming pride begins with the realization that we've let our ego take the driver's seat. This self-awareness is often the hardest step but it's also the most crucial. It's like finding the compass that's been buried under the clutter of our prideful thoughts. Now that we have it, we can start navigating our way back to humility. But knowing the problem is only half the battle. We must also accept it. This is where self-acceptance comes in. It's about acknowledging our prideful tendencies without judgment or self-blame. It's about recognizing that we're human and like all humans, we have our flaws. By accepting ourselves, pride and all, we create a safe space where change can occur. Change, however, can be scary. It requires stepping out of our comfort zones and challenging our long-held beliefs. But remember, change isn't about becoming someone else. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves. It's about letting go of the pride that holds us back and embracing the humility that propels us forward. So, how do we go about making this change? Therapy can be an invaluable resource. A skilled therapist can provide us with the tools and insights we need to understand our pride and how it impacts our relationships and well-being. They can guide us through the process of change, cheering us on every step of the way. Self-help resources such as books, podcasts, and online courses can also be incredibly helpful. They offer practical tips and strategies that we can apply in our everyday lives. Overcoming pride is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small, consistent changes that gradually reshape our mindset and behavior. It's about learning to listen more and talk less, to acknowledge our mistakes rather than defend them, to seek understanding rather than be right. And with each step, we move closer to a healthier, happier self. Overcoming pride is a journey, not a destination, but with each step, we move closer to a healthier, happier self. As we wrap up our discussion on pride, let's remember that the journey to overcoming pride is a continuous one. Indeed, this journey is not a sprint, but a marathon, demanding consistent effort and self-awareness. We've delved into the paradox of pride, highlighting its dual nature as both a motivator and a potential destroyer. We've identified the signs of pride, aiming to help you recognize it within yourself and others. We've explored the pitfalls of pride, emphasizing its potential to hinder personal growth and damage relationships. We've also offered strategies to avoid the trap of pride and shared practical tips to help you overcome pride when it rears its ugly head. The importance of addressing pride cannot be overstated. It's a journey of self-improvement and self-awareness, leading to healthier relationships and a happier you. Remember, the journey to overcoming pride starts with a single step. So take that step today and embark on your journey towards a healthier, happier you.